Hi and welcome. This video will demonstrate uh, customizing the contract report uh, in SI 2015. Um, so to do that first let's look at the contract report and um, understand it a little bit. So I'm just going to choose to um, manage projects, pick a project, and we'll run a contract report against it. So we'll pick this one. We'll go over to reports, client, Double click the contract report. So uh, here is the contract report in the report viewer. Um, you can see there's a header here. Um, your company information, uh, client information over here on the right. Then there's um, this text here, and this is the text you're going to want to change because uh, this is just some default text that we've put in there. Obviously, you can see there's dollar values in here that um, definitely aren't going to uh, necessarily apply to you. So um, the next section is the payment schedule and um, this pulls from the project uh, contract payments settings so um, of course this will vary um, if you put due dates in they'll display here too um, and then there's the next section down here of text so in this case there are two separate um, rich text boxes on the report itself I'm holding first this text um, this is a sub report and then this text and then there's some fields down here for uh, signatures so I'll go ahead and close out of here and um, let's go ahead and open up the uh, report um, designer if you go here to start go to reports um, standard report designer this will open uh, this interface here and uh, we'll go ahead and start a new report based off um, that contract so click the new button here the default is to base off an existing report you're definitely going to want to do that uh, take advantage of what's already there so uh, click next and um, if you take a look in here we'll see the contract report um, what you'll see beneath it um, are two of the sub reports that are on um, the contract report the uh, description over here will always let you know if it's a sub report um, those are bound to the main contract report and um, one of those being that payment schedule so uh, we'll see that in a second when we get through this wizard and click next um, name the report we'll just say uh, you know custom contract and of course name it whatever you want then um, choose next um, it is portrait uh, these are the margins um, you don't uh, necessarily need to change anything here unless you feel like you'd uh, like to make changes uh, if you do make changes here, keep in mind um, you're going to still have to change the size of the report manually. Um, you'll do that over in the properties once it's open. Um, for this example, we're going to leave everything the same. Um, in fact, we're going to just hit next through the rest of the steps in this wizard. Um, the contract being a very uh, simple report, not dealing with like product data, um, it doesn't have a lot of uh, settings here on these other um, steps here. So we'll just again go next, next, next until we get through this wizard and then hit finish and this will open um, this now custom report here for edit and here you can see the um, header section the um, this is where the company information displayed before but of course it puts in um, whatever your company logo is that you've loaded under your company settings and here was the client information the, the project name and who they were so um, down here um, these are the two controls we're going to be uh, change or actually I'm going to change one but I'll, I'll point out both of them so remember there were two parts of text on that contract report there was the first text then there was um, the payment schedule then there was the rest of the text so uh, these controls are rich text box controls um, if you look over here in the uh, toolbox that's what we added a rich text box which allows you to bind a rich text file um, to this rich text box control and so um, you're going to need to create your wording in uh, WordPad and do it in WordPad. Um, don't do it in uh, Word. Um, WordPad can be found on any Windows operating system. Just go to your start here and type in WordPad. Um, and it's a very simple uh, editing tool, better than Notepad. It's less than Word, but um, you do need to use this to put your text in here. Uh, if you do use Word and then do file save as and save it as an RTF file, which is rich uh, text format, uh, there can be spacing issues. So um, you're going to want to go ahead and um, you know type text in here if you want to. Um, 
there's some formatting options along the top here. I'll go ahead and just uh, paste some text in here. And if you want to, I'm just, I'm going to color it in, just making a random example here. Um, and then you'll want to go ahead and save this file. And um, for now, I'll just leave it uh, document RTF, or you know, you could do uh, maybe contract section one. Um, and then if you're going to do the second section, contract section two, um, whatever you want to do. I'll go ahead and um, just go ahead and close out of that for now. And um, what I'll do then is now bind that, or actually, in this case, it's not actually binding, it's uh, loading. Um, you actually bind sub reports. That'll be a whole other video on those. So here you load the file. And we'll choose the file here, choose open, and you'll see that it pulled the text into the box here. So um, that's how you're going to replace the text here. Um, if you want to do the split here, where you have text down here as well, create another RTF doc and do the same thing. Right click, load the file. Um, and by the way, here's just a, another um, control that's on here. This is a sub report control. Um, this one is a sub phases. This doesn't show um, by default. You can turn that on via parameter if you wanted to see a phase breakout. Uh, the more popular one that shows by default here is the, um, over here we call it the sub payment. And that's just to indicate that this is a sub report control um, you know, versus a rich text box on here. And uh, that a sub report has been bound to this. You can see right there. Um, there's an option to bind a details report, but we're not going to be changing any of that today. Um, the purpose of this video was to show you how to just very simply change the text on the default contract. Now, of course, um, do whatever other changes you want to um, do to this to make it um, customized for your company. And when you're done, you're going to want to publish this. So there's a publish report button here. Uh, that will publish just to your local machine if you want to run a test on it before you um, publish it to the server for other users to download. Um, if you're confident and you want to publish it to everybody, there is a publish and export to the server here. Um, but we'll go ahead and publish this. And um, uh, once you publish a report, you're asked uh, if you want to close the report designer. And we'll go ahead and say yes. And uh, let's go ahead and run that custom report. Uh, it'll show up here under the client list. You can see the custom contract here. The little blue icon indicates that uh, this is a custom report, not one of the stock green ones here. And we'll go ahead and run that, and you'll see my um, the text that I put in there just replace the text that was here before. And that's how you go about customizing um, the contract report.